After a month at sea sailing in from Europe, the first part of Trinidad we saw was the lush jungle landscape of the north coast. We're out of the Atlantic now, we're in the Caribbean. It's humid, the air smells like dirt and forest. Since arriving, we've spent as much time as we can exploring that jungle. One of our favorite places to visit, that's close to the shipyard, is Coveen Gorge. Oh my God. This afternoon we are heading to one of our favorite places here in Trinidad, which is the Coveen Gorge. It's only about like a 15 minute drive from the marina and then we've got to walk through the jungle before we get to the actual canyons, but it's really, really cool. And if you're ever in Trinidad, it's absolutely worth a visit. Adventure. To get to the start of the hiking path, we drive as close to the Arbitorium as possible before continuing on foot. It's a little bit of a trek to get to this point, but as you can see, we're now at the river. So from here, we just kind of weave in and out until we get to the first canyon. And as soon as we get to that bit, it'll be shoes off and we'll be doing it barefoot from then on. Along the Coveen River, there are sections of rock that have been slowly eroded over time to create natural slot canyons in the middle of the jungle. This first one is particularly beautiful and is somewhere we often run to when taking Rose for her afternoon walkies. It's a big change from when we used to live in a city. This was Crystal PR before the dog went bum, 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 bum. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing here, I don't think. I just walk through it. Come on, honey. Pick a venture. Come on, honey. Pick a venture. We are going to enter the first part of the gorge, go through here, and then up the waterfall. And then we'll be back in the jungle following the path to the next section.
Run away from you. <laughs> and she laughed at you. She laughed at you. Yeah. Don't get her. <laughs> Don't get her. Get her. But girl, this is far enough, you? guys. Don't get her. Rose needs a little bit of help getting up the falls, but recently she's decided that no help is needed when it's time to come back down again. This waterfall is the biggest one you need to climb to reach the final swimming pool at Coveen. Now it can get pretty slippery, which is why we use that rope to help ourselves get up. We are almost at the swimming pool at the top. <laughs> Are you doing that now? <laughs> <laughs> you come for some. Honey, jump. Jump. Come on. Come on, get up. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! This was one of those trips where we simply lost track of time and as we were coming back from Coveen, night started to fall. 
But this wasn't so bad due to the presence of glowing fireflies. Beautiful. She, her eyes are brighter than the um, fireflies. Getting to Coven Gorge is pretty easy from Western Main Road. When we go, we usually park at the metal gate at the start of the dirt road, but it is possible to park almost at the trailhead if that gate is unlocked. The journey from the trailhead to the first canyon takes 15 minutes if you're running, or about 25 to 30 minutes if you're strolling. Depending on the time of year, you may encounter river crabs running around, as well as breadfruit and wild mangoes laying on the ground. If you have any questions about Coveen Gorge, feel free to pop them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. And if you know of anywhere else like this, we'd love for you to share it, just in case we're ever in the area.